Slowly, 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 slowly. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, is this coming? Hi, welcome back to Sevi Diaries. Today is another exciting day and we are heading to Chapman's Peak. It's currently 12.52 pm and we are about to embark on a 62 km journey through the beautiful landscapes of South Africa. Some parts of the route may seem familiar to some of you as we previously explored it on the way to Cape of Good Hope. Viraj is super pumped up for today's outtake. He's always thrilled to explore new places and this one promises to be special. As we hit the road towards Chapman's Peak, we notice the familiar sight of soft sand on both sides of the road. Temple. The scenery along Chapman's Peak is simply enchanting, captivating us with its breathtaking beauty that makes it hard to take our eyes off the mesmerizing view. We can see some local vendors on the left side offering an array of fresh figs and honey. It's truly one of the unique charms of this journey. We can see a car on the right side of the road. Its occupants are changing a flat tire. It's a familiar sight for us as we also had to replace the tire on the way back from the Cape of Good Hope. These little challenges only add to the memorable experiences we collect along the way. Cape Town truly is a remarkable city. Everywhere you go, you are greeted with spectacular views that leave you breathless. This is where we decided to have a tire changed after the tire mishap. We stopped here at Muzinberg just behind the shopping complex and got a tire change. So route is same till here, we are in Muzinberg and heading towards Chapman's Peak. So let me brief you about Chapman's Peak. It is also known as Chappies and it's a famous coastal road and scenic drive located on the western coast of the Cape Peninsula in South Africa. It is renowned for its breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean and the rugged cliffs that line the coastline. Chapman's Peak Drive is situated between Noordog and Hout Bay. It's a tall road that winds along the cliffs. The Chapman's Peak provides stunning views of the ocean and the surrounding landscape. The road is famous for its 114 curves, making it a thrilling and picturesque route for both locals and tourists. Construction of Chapman's Peak Drive began in 1950 and was officially opened in 1922. The road was initially carved out of the mountainside to provide better access between Hout Bay and Noordog.
There are several designated viewpoints along the drive where visitors can stop and take in the spectacular vistas. One of the most popular viewpoints is the Chapman's Peak Lookout, which offers panoramic views of the coastline at the Atlantic Ocean. Apart from driving along Chapman's Peak, there are various activities to enjoy in the surrounding areas, including hiking trails, picnic spots, and opportunities for bird watching and whale watching in season. The route remains the same till Muzinburg. To your left is Simons Town and to your right is the amazing Chapman's Peak. While dolphins are commonly seen in this area, wildlife sightings can never be guaranteed as they are influenced by various factors like weather, time of day and the dolphins natural migration pattern. So to increase the chances of spotting dolphins, best to visit Chapman's Peak during calm weather conditions and keep an eye out for any signs of marine activity. This is the first lookout point and the board says watching dolphins along the South African coastline. Here you will be greeted by a spectacular view of the vast ocean. If you are lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of dolphins from here. The turquoise water blends seamlessly with the pristine white beach creating a postcard perfect scene. You will find numerous lookout points like these and designated parking areas along the road where you can stop to soak in the scenery, take photographs or have a picnic while enjoying the fresh sea breeze. Starting from Nood Dog, the drive begins with the picturesque ascent through the green slopes of the Table Mountain National Park. Along the way, there are several designated viewpoints and pull-off areas. Once you reach the highest point of Chapman's Peak Drive, there is a viewpoint called Chapman's Peak or Chappies. Continuing down the other side, will descend towards Hout Bay and the views change to reveal the charming coastal village and its picturesque harbour. Let me tell you, this drive is one of the most scenic drives. If you want the best views, make sure you are on the left side of the road. Coming from Noordog, side towards Hot Bay. That's where the magic happens. The drive passes through a series of narrow bends and curves. Each bend reveals a new vista more awe-inspiring than the last. Chapman's Peak Drive is renowned for its impressive engineering as it was carved into the side of the mountain, offering a seemingly suspended drive over the ocean below. The road features several impressive stone-cut tunnels like this, adding to the charm and uniqueness of the journey. This is the second viewpoint along the Chapman's Peak Drive stretching from New Dock to Hout Bay. This picturesque spot showcases an array of local handicrafts. Hey, Sadna, where are you? Chapman's Peak. What is it? I can see a local artist oh. creating these artifacts. This is what he has made. Oh my god, we can see a group of three wheel trikers relishing the scenic Chapman's Drive. We have also done this in New Zealand near Wanaka Lake in South Island of New Zealand. The adventurous spirits add an extra dash of excitement to the already awe inspiring surroundings. Chapman's Peak boasts some of Cape Town's most impressive coastal views and its greatest sunset spot and is one of the most scenic marine drive in the world. So this is the best uh, way to explore this Chapman's Peak Drive. You can do this trike tour from Cape Town.
we can see cyclists also coming from the Howth Bay to Noordok side. We have done this drive last time also that too twice. We have done from Noordok to Howth Bay and from Howth Bay to Noordok. So we have seen both the sides. This time we are doing only once from Noordok to Howth Bay as the views are better from this side. So now this is the third view point on Chapman's Peak Drive. Look at this. We can see a stone with the inscription that marks the commencement of this incredible drive's construction in 1915. The sturdy railing ensures the safety while offering panoramic views of the enchanting out bay. A little one is having a delightful time taking in the sights and sounds of this beautiful journey. For the adventurous souls, there is an opportunity to carefully descend and immerse yourself fully in the breathtaking panoramas. Okay, we'll go to Cape Town. Listen. Ah, Viraj, what are you doing? Where are you? Wow, this is the best view. No, no, don't go close. Wait, wait. Be careful, Peter. Speak. Oh. After immersing ourselves in the breathtaking beauty at the previous viewpoint, we are back on Chapman's Peak Drive. Here is another charming small viewpoint offering us a serene oasis under the shade of wonderful trees. The area is adorned with inviting picnic benches, inviting us to take a moment to relax and appreciate the surroundings. Come. Come. Yeah, yeah. Slowly, slowly, slowly. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> Viraj's excitement is infectious, making the experience even more special.
This marks the fourth viewpoint along the route and is perfect spot to pause and have some snacks. So let's indulge in this tranquil moment appreciating the simple pleasures of life while surrounded by nature's splendor. Captivating these stars and the company of loved ones create an ambience of tranquility and happiness. Chapman's Peak Drive continues to unfold its wonders and we eagerly await what the road has in store for us next. As we descend towards Hout Bay, a breathtaking view unfolds before us and there's another delightful viewpoint. <sighs> wow, this is nice. Moreover, there is a well-constructed frame thoughtfully placed to capture the breathtaking scenery in the photograph, ensuring you can immortalize this moment forever. Raj, Raj is slowly, slowly fitting. <laughs> This idyllic spot appears to be an ideal picnic area, adorned with comfortable benches and washroom facilities. Okay. Come. No. Okay. <laughs> With nature's beauty spread out before us and the amenities at hand, it is an ideal location to relax, unwind and savour the serenity of the surroundings while cherishing the company of loved ones. Wow! Chale? Okay, chale. Chalo. Chalo, chale. Okay, speak. Let's go, Raj. This viewpoint offers a delightful respite from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. So be sure to seize the opportunity to create lasting memories amid this idealistic setting. After savouring the breathtaking sights of five viewpoints and picnic areas along the scenic route from Noordog to Howard Bay, we have now arrived at the final destination of this delightful journey. There is another viewpoint, this is the sixth one. So again, there is one more viewpoint coming. So, seven. Uh, however, for concluding adventure, it's essential to note that Chapman's Peak Drive is a tall road covering a distance of nine kilometers. And as we approach the toll plaza, we'll have to pay the toll fees, a small price to contribute towards the maintenance and preservation of this awe-inspiring coastal road. Ensuring future generations can also relish the beauty and wonder of this Remarkable coastal route. 
After passing through the tall plaza, we are greeted by the enchanting coastal town of Hout Bay, with the beauty of a white sandy beach and the majestic ocean unfold before us. I remember a previous visit when the wind was so fierce that stepping out of the car was a challenge. However, today's weather has been absolutely delightful, allowing us to thoroughly enjoy the Chapman's Peak Drive. How it will be located at the northern end of the drive is a charming coastal town known for its fishing harbor and seafood restaurant. Aside from its natural splendor, the streets are lined with charming shops, cafes and art galleries offering a delightful array of local crafts and delicious treats. You can see these trees lined up. So we are driving along custom Bosch Gardens. However, since it's already 5 p.m. and our last day in Cape Town, we regret that we won't be able to visit the garden on this occasion. Not to worry though, we have had the pleasure exploring Custom Bosch Gardens during our previous visit and it's undoubtedly a must-visit gem in Cape Town. Today has been a fantastic day as we spent our time exploring Chapman's Peak and all its breathtaking viewpoints. Cape Town has been a truly unforgettable experience throughout a week-long stay. Our itinerary has been jam-packed with exciting activities and sightseeing, leaving us with wonderful memories to cherish. As we bid farewell to Strand Pavilion in Strand where we are staying, which has been a welcoming home for the past week, we can't help but feel a surge of excitement for our upcoming adventure. Tomorrow we embark on a thrilling two-week journey to Kruger National Park, a dream destination for wildlife enthusiasts like us. A stay in Strand Pavilion has been nothing short of delightful and truly felt like a home away from home. The warm hospitality and comfortable accommodation have added to the joy of our overall experience. Okay. Are you okay now? As the journey continues, we look forward to new adventures, unforgettable encounters and the wonders that await us in Kroger National Park. Okay. Right.